What's happening? It's Johnny Snow back in the building. And today, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to get that finish on your bolt right there. You see that? You see that? I mean, turn that to the side. Let me let you get a good look at that. That's the bolt on my mini Draco. My mini Draco. And here is my micro Draco. See that bolt? We're going to make the other boat look just like that. Well, we're going to make this boat look just like this. All right. Let's get a better look at these. All right. So here is the boat from the mini. All right. And the boat from the mini used to look just like this. Let me get a little closer. See, see that, and then you see this. All right. So there's a process that you got to go through to get this to here. And I'm about to go ahead and show it to you. And I'm gonna let you know right now, this is not um, hard but it does take time it's not quick fast and hurry and you're done in 30 minutes so i'm going to show you exactly how to, how i got this to here all right and the advantages of doing this is it makes the action of your gun so much better it's smooth action smooth slide smooth everything so you know this it it, it remedies some of the lockups that happens when you're charging ak so let me go ahead and get down to it and show you how to do this. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is clean it off real good. So what I like to use is this foaming cleaner. Let that do its thing. All right, so you let that get on there, let it sit on there for a little bit. And then yeah, let me take that out, sit that back in there. After you've done that, you're ready for step two, which I'm gonna let the bolt sit in there for a little while. You're ready for step two. All right, here is step two. Sanding it down. I use, we have 320 and we have 1500, all right? A lot of times I don't even use the 1500, but I have it anyway. So let's go ahead and fold your paper. And so I dip it in a little bit of water and just start going for it. Now let me... All right, so I have done my sanding. And all this was just done with the 320. I did not use the 1500. And just sand off all of the paint that was on here, the coating, so to speak. So, you know, it's, it's not perfection, but I got a lot of it off, got a lot of it off. So now we're about to move on to the next step move on to the next step all right so here is my buffer polisher and these are my waxes that i use the black wax first on the yellow wheel i use the white wax second on um the the not the softest wheel but the second to the softest wheel then we use the green on the softest wheel all right so we're going to start off with the black on the yellow wheel. So you turn this thing on. And we start with the policy. Like I said earlier, this is not a fast process. 
You're going to be out here for a little minute to get it 100% right. Now, you can half do it all you want to and halfway get a shine on it and halfway have it looking good, but why do that? All right, so what I like to do here is go over to the white side now. Go over to the white side. All right, let, let's let you take a look at that. It's already looking pretty, pretty good, pretty good. Nowhere near done, but it's already looking, looking pretty good. So now that we've gotten to this point, we're gonna go back to the black side and try to knock down some more high areas. Here's where we are so far, all right? Looks pretty good. And that's going on this wheel, then going on this wheel, then going back to this wheel. Now I'm about to hit it on this wheel again. Wow, look at that. So she is looking very good, very, very good. And I will say this, you can stop whenever you get to the level of shine that you want to achieve. But as you see right here, this does not have the mirror on it yet. So I'm going to keep going, but you can stop whenever you want to. But as you see, it is looking great. It is looking great so far. Now I'm about to put the soft wheel on there and we're going to use the green wax so hold on just a moment here's the soft wheel right here now we have the soft wheel on there let's go ahead and get the green wax Let's start going for it. All right, let's take a look at it. See where we're at. Let's wipe it off so we can get a good look at it. And she is shining. She is most definitely shining. And, you know, this, this is a good level to get to. I mean, this looks great. It'll look good in the gun. It'll definitely look good in the gun. But I am not done. I am not done. Let me um, pull out the last little piece of the pie when it comes to getting this polished the way I do it. Hold on. All right, so now we have the mother's magnet aluminum polish. So what we're gonna do is dip it to the mother's and we're gonna wipe it down with mother's. Wipe it on down all over. Then we're going to get our Dremel. And just. Go over it with the Dremel. All 
All right, after hitting it with the Dremel for a little while, I got it where I want it at now. There it is. You have seen the entire process. And like I say, it is not a quick process. It, it takes a little bit of time, but hey, you can get it there. You can get it there. Hold on, let me put this back in the gun. All right, this is what it looks like on the weapon. You saw what it looked like before. Now, we done got it mirrored out, mirrored out. So, that is how you polish your bolt. Right there, that is how you polish your bolt. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe so you can follow the journey that I take all of these weapons on. And if you do hit that, hit them notifications so they'll let you know whenever I put a new video out. And Johnny Snow up out of here.